Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters, and the title of this video is not clickbait, it's not fake, it's actually very real, and very possibly could be a lot of problems for plastic model building on YouTube. And many of you guys that I've talked to in the store have no idea about anything that's about to happen on YouTube. And actually, I myself didn't know anything about this until just a couple of days ago. And this all has to do with a FTC law that came out in 1998 called COPPA. And COPPA stands for the Child Online Privacy Protection Act. And like I said, it came out in 1998, and it started off with, with great, uh, great meaning for it. So what it was is, was to keep children, and children are defined in the United States as 12 and under. We're not talking about teenagers or minors, we're talking about 12 and under children. And it was designed that 12 and under children were not allowed to have any information taken from them. So initially it started off with uh, name, address, you know, phone number, stuff like that, that wouldn't be put up onto the internet. So bad people wouldn't be able to contact young children. Sounds great. Well, in 2013, the FTC amended that law because they found out that cookies are such a thing. And if you guys know what cookies are, cookies are the little bits of information that are stored on your computer that, you know, track where you've been, uh, all kinds of different things. Made our lives, quite frankly, a lot easier using the computer having cookies on it. But with that information, companies like Google, which is, you know, owns YouTube, comes around and they can take that information and they can give us targeted ads. And targeted ads means, so they look at um, your background stuff and they say, hey, he likes looking at uh, cars or something like that. You might get a whole bunch of ads for BMW or Mercedes or things like that. So that's what targeted ads are. So what's happened now is that when YouTube first thought they would get around this whole thing because they made a little addendum, when you sign up for a YouTube account, they say you must be 13 and older. Well, that, that was on the honor system, and there was a lot of children with their parents' approval. Hey, you, you give your kid an iPad or an iPhone or anything, and you say, hey, go and go on YouTube. It might, sounds like to me, that's approval. Uh, and they were going on YouTube, and they were looking around on videos and such. They were usually clicking the button or, or you know, that, hey, I am 13 and above. Meanwhile, they weren't. Well, in April of 1998, a bunch of child advocacy groups f found out about this and said, hey, we think YouTube has got a ton of videos on there that are directed towards children, and YouTube is collecting data on them, and they're taking that data and they're putting specialized ads to children. This has nothing to do with the actual content of the video. It is strictly about putting ads to children. So now we have children on YouTube watching YouTube videos and going around on that. And because they checked the box that they were 13 and above, guess what? YouTube under Google is collecting information on them, on cookies, what type of videos they're watching, things like that. So with that information, YouTube under Google is directing ads to those kids, which is a no-no. So even though the, the parents may have known that they were on there watching them and all that, that doesn't seem to matter. So what happened is in April of 2018, excuse, yeah, 2018, a group of 20 children's advocacy groups went to the FTC and complained and said, uh, Google knowingly knows that there are, there are children on there and that they're, they're putting ads in and stuff just for kids. Once again, this has nothing to do with the content that they're watching. It is strictly that they're being targetized ads towards children. Children, 12 and under. We're not talking about teenagers. Remember all that stuff. So this went on for about a year plus, and in September of this year, 2019, YouTube settled, and they settled for a $170 million fine that they went against him, plus also a bunch of other caveats that are a little tough on all of us uh, creators. So what they said is that we will not allow any child-related content to go on YouTube, in a such a way that it will not be have any information collected on it. And I'm gonna to try to explain this the best as possible because it is all very, very vague. And I've watched a ton of videos like I've told you guys and from actual attorneys that find all this language very vague. So what that means is a channel has to either, at the right now we've already had to do this. Now YouTube said they swept, first of all, their entire platform and 
and their bot has determined whether or not your video is for children or is good for adults which so that's fine now my channel was swept and it came back fine so everything is fine but the FTC says starting January 1st they are going to start sweeping YouTube and the entire um, platform and they're going to be, be making different determinations on what they consider for children and here it is once again super vague language the language is appealing to children well what the heck does appealing to children mean so as you guys know uh, most of you watching are probably all adults out there and that's because according to my analytics on YouTube 95 percent of the people that watch my video are all uh, 25 and above and most of the and the other few are teenagers and a few um, you know late teens early 20s right there so primarily an adult audience this is not the 1960s and 70s when people were doing this as children this has become a sophisticated adult hobby <laughs> clearly you got to be 18 to buy the paint and glue he's the uh, most of the Japanese and Chinese companies say right on it that it's not a toy but this is the fun part because the FTC can sweep the entire thing right now they can make a determination under that term appealing to a child that Oh, plastic model building are toys and he's making these videos all for children and they can come in and if I don't have my account set properly if I say that I'm making these for adults even though in my heart that's what I believe I know what my customers that come in here they're all adults but if they come back in there and say nope he's making these for children I can be hit with a forty two thousand five hundred and thirty dollar fine per video now you know I have quite a few videos on my my thing but let's say even they just found a hundred of them that they they deem like that we're talking millions of dollars worth of fines that they can levy against me because YouTube paid their fine and they've kind of kind of left the rest of us to to the wolves there and they said well you go need to have contact an attorney and meanwhile there are attorneys that go we don't even know how to cipher through this vague language right here appealing to children sports videos can be appealing to children uh, you know sideshow collectibles three hundred dollar action figures granted you know kids might find it appealing but they're designed for adults what what's the difference on it right there technically cooking shows are because if it will say someone makes a cooking show and they're making holiday cookies well a child might be appealing to that so he might watch that video right there any of these videos so we're talking thousands and thousands of YouTube channels that come January 1st can just be absolutely destroyed now the other option is that YouTube has given us is that if we say if there's any chance that your video might be for children or directed towards children even though these are not directed uh, you can check on the box that it's for you this video is for a child now when you check a box for for child it basically does a number on your channel anyway so first of all no more can you uh, comment on the video so if I set my channel to protect myself from getting hit with any type of you know FTC fine even though I know in my heart that this is all for adults if I set it for that you guys can't comment on any more of my videos anymore you there is no more community tab anymore you my video is no longer searchable anymore and a litany of other things that will happen to the channel that'll make it virtually impossible for you guys to enjoy it the way you used to and it's not just me I know there's some of you guys out there who's like well eh, I don't like Andy's channel anyway well hello because even though I'm based in the United States these rules are going to apply for everybody around the world so my friend Plasmo in the Czech Republic now the federal government here can't find him because he's in another country but they can go to YouTube and go kill the channel it's for kids right there and I'm not saying it is but I'm just saying they can arbitrarily you can have a, a government bureaucrat sitting at a screen looking at the computer going oh these are plastic models those are toys those are those are designed for little kids and boom kill your channel and if you don't if so if you do it one way and you say it's for kids <laughs> good luck they're gonna take first oh the other thing I forgot to mention too for all the other big channels they remove 90 percent of your monetization now a lot of guys require the monetization that's what keeps them going YouTube is and everyone thinks we just turn the camera on and boom a video comes out but it's a lot of work sometimes you spend 25 30 hours a week making videos and those guys you know that's how they make their money on it that's how they get paid for it so all of that stops right there so it, it's kind of a, a very 
crazy time right now of what is going to happen. Now, I'm going to keep my channel one way or another. Uh, there will be model videos coming out. Uh, we've got to really look into it in depth on what we can do so we don't get in trouble because I, I certainly don't want some massive fine from the FTC for something that I knowingly know is for adults and I'm not targeting children at all. But like once again, it's completely up to a arbitrary person because of the vague language, appealing to children. I know I keep saying that, but appealing to children, everything could be appealing to children. Uh, you know, my sons loved uh, real airplanes when they were little. So does that mean if a video on real airplanes is suddenly appealing to children, that video is no longer for adults? It, 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 it's crazy right now. But... Luckily, there are still a few things you guys can do. Now, I've already gone ahead and done this stuff right here, but there is the FTC website that they've extended the, the comment section open until December 9th. And I'm going to put a link down below. I highly advise that you go on there and let them know that uh, these rules don't make sense. And in the long run, are probably going to hurt children more than anything. Because once again, it's never about the content. And in fact, more and more YouTube creators are going to make more adult-related content that kids can still go and watch. So it's all it's going to be is that they're not going to be targeted ads going for that thing. But if a, if a YouTuber makes more adult type of entertainment, uh, the ads will come back for him, so he'll get all the advertising time, but the kids will still be watching it. So I don't know how that helps children at all. Once again, I am not an attorney by any means. I'm only going by what has been told to me. I've watched countless videos on YouTube from attorneys, from YouTube itself, from the FTC. It is all super vague. But like I said, I'm going to put the link down below. There are two links that will be down there. Actually, a couple links. The first link will be for a petition that you can sign to the FTC telling them that you don't want this done. And come January 1st, if you guys don't know about this, YouTube can be a completely different place come January 1st. And so many people go, I had no idea this was happening. Well, it's happening and it's very, very, very serious. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna put down is the FTC comments. And that you can go on there, please be courteous. Don't, no foul language or anything like that. We want them to be heard. They say they read every comment and hopefully they do. And we can get out to them and say that this is not going to protect children. This is no way protecting children, but it is going to harm a great big chunk of the YouTube community. And let's face it, I use YouTube myself as a major form of entertainment. And I'm sure most of you guys do too. And if it hinders anything the way we do it, Hey, it's going to change YouTube the way we know. And like I said, so it's not just here in the United States. Uh, other friend, Luke Townen, he does videos on model trains. Who's to say that the government's going to go, well, model trains, those are for kids. Close the account down. Boom. No more, no more Luke Townen on the internet right there. Or no more Plasma. Or no more Andy's Hobby Headquarters. All depending on how they see fit. So please go down there, fill out the uh, the petition. There's already 420,000 signatures on it. And just say that you want this to be brought up. And the FTC commissioners, from what I understand, are don't know about all this stuff. And they don't know how it's going to affect YouTube in general. But they want to learn. So let's be kind and courteous. Go out to them and tell them what we want to, you know, that what's going to happen. And maybe something can be changed. Because they even want to make the rules even harder on this stuff going forward in the in the name of protecting children, which we know is not how to protect children. So there's also another video or two that I'm gonna put on the bottom down here from actual attorneys on this whole subject that if you're interested in more information about this, these are, one of them is actually a media attorney that he has looked into all this stuff. And like I said, he's a media attorney and he is confused about all this stuff. And he's read it from back to front, went to law school for all this. I don't know what I'm talking about in the long run, you know, reading legalese and all this stuff, but it is a scary proposition right now. So please go on there and look at all those things. Okay, guys, uh, you might be wondering why I'm wearing different clothing right now. And that is because while I was filming this video, uh, the, the heavens opened up, so to speak. And we had a huge thunder and lightning storm here in Arizona and lightning bolt hit a transformer right down the street from me blew out the power and we lost power for the whole day so I had to close my store down and now it's the next morning so I'm back to uh, calm down maybe a little bit maybe I was too excited for the whole thing but this is a very serious thing guys and you need to get involved in this because there's not enough being talked about of this but I promise you January 1st if we don't all get involved 
things are going to be changing for the worst right across the board. So uh, please take a look at all the video links I have down below. It'll explain it a little bit further than me, than I can actually explain it. Uh, like I said, this has all been dropped on me and I've spent a couple of days watching all of the stuff and I think I got a pretty good grasp on it. But I do know one thing, it is going to change things for the worse if we don't do something. So now a, a few other updates too. Uh, First of all, you guys may have noticed in the last, uh, these are not COPPA related. These are have to do with the channel and things like that for me. Uh, our new website, andyshhq.com. Wow, we are really, really thankful. So many people have gone on there and checked it out and got stuff from it and are very happy. Uh, about another thousand items have been ad added on just in the last couple of days. So please, if you get a chance, chop, uh, jump onto the website. Uh, and if you have any more information or you need more information on it, go watch the video that was previous to this one right here. That'll explain it a little bit more. Also, another quick thing, this is totally voluntary. Uh, YouTube has initiated their membership program for certain YouTube channels, and we were lucky enough to be one of them. So there, down below there, there is a join button. And you can go ahead and click on that if you want to become a member. There is a, uh, a small monthly fee that's up to you and how much you want to do on it. But you do get certain perks that uh, will be changing all the time. But there's some down there if you want to take a look at it. Like I said, it's completely voluntary. Uh, it will help out the channel, obviously, if you do decide to do it. But that's completely up to you. So, like I said, get on the, uh, the internet now, watch these other videos, and get to the FTC site and to the petition site. We want to get our voices heard down. So, hey, I want to thank you guys as always for watching, and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming. And speaking of that too, I actually have a big pile of stuff that I need to do a review. So, uh, there will be a review video coming in the next day or two also. So, thanks again.